it's hard to improve what you cannot measure. We have a situation in one of the plants that the, the units were not working, so we didn't know who was driving the, the, the unit. And it allows people who maybe they are not certified to be driving the forklift. Now that we have this type of technology, we can actually control who is driving the, the, the unit and is controlled by the badge. In addition to that, it offers the operator that assurance that we are looking for their best interest, that we're looking to make sure that they're safe. Uh, it is now mandatory uh, for an operator to get into our units to perform the OSHA pre-check list. And then it is also uh, commonly used uh, a management uh, as a tool to identify if someone uh, mishandled the equipment. It was very common to have operators leaving the units running idle. Ever since that, it's safe to say that we have at least say 5-10% in fuel. The reliability of the fleet is taken into consideration. It wasn't just for uh, taking equipment away from, from a given facility, it was also to give a busy facility uh, more equipment. And in addition to that, it determines how much do we really need a rental. So it gives us the opportunity to release a long-term rental early enough. A couple months worth of rental savings is three, four thousand dollars that we're saving per unit. So when you're talking about many tens of units around the country, then it's it's significant savings. In a matter of what's it what less than six months, we had 13 plants deployed yeah. with the solution, fully deployed and implemented and actually operational. Well, now with the incorporation of the load sensing it could give us a pretty accurate count of features such as how many uh, pallet moves the individual actually made. When you do so from the equipment perspective and the operator perspective, it could give you a different insight about the use of that particular equipment or the behavior of a particular operator.